Catrice Lee was born November 28, 1979, at the British Military Hospital in Rintown, West Germany. Her father, Richard Lee, was a sergeant major in the British Army stationed in West Germany, along with her mother, Sharon, and her elder sister, Natasha, who lived in the area of Paderborn. On November 28, 1981, Catrice's second birthday, the family decided to go to the nearby Navy Army and Air Force Institute's shopping complex to buy things for her birthday party. Catrice's elder sister, Natasha, decided that she did not want to go shopping. Since her aunt and uncle were visiting, Natasha stayed at home with her uncle, and her parents, aunt and Catrice, went to the shopping complex. Catrice's father, Richard, drove them to the shopping complex and waited for them in the car park. The day was the last payday before Christmas, so the complex was exceptionally busy. Catrice decided she did not want to ride in the shopping cart, so she was carried around the supermarket by her mother, Sharon, who placed her down at the checkout. Sharon briefly left the checkout before returning to find that Catrice was nowhere to be seen. Her aunt Wendy thought Catrice had followed her mother down the aisle, but she had vanished. The military police were effectively in charge, but had to negotiate with the German civil police because the complex building was within a German town, not on military premises. Both the military and the German police believed Catrice had fallen into the nearby River Lip and drowned, but no body was ever discovered. The German police refused to go to the press, and it was six weeks before an item appeared in the local newspaper. The investigation produced little result, and despite dredging the river and conducting house-to-house -house inquiries, no trace of Catrice was found. Police reopened the case in 2000 after computer technology helped them to form an image of how she could look now. People came forward who had never been interviewed, including a young man who had been standing behind Lee's at the checkout and one of the checkout ladies. One woman also came forward to say that her boyfriend at the time, who was in the same regiment as Catrice's father, had confessed to murdering a child. The man now lived in North Umbra and the military police interviewed him, but he denied it, and the woman who gave the details died soon after, therefore ending the lead. Afterwards, the military police told the family they thought he was probably just a fantasist. Three possible sightings of Catrice Lee came after her story appeared on the BBC television show Missing Live, where during the show a digital rendering of the potential appearance of Catrice as a 29-year-old was shown. Natasha Lee, Catrice's elder sister, appeared on Crime Watch to highlight the appeal. After that appearance, an anonymous woman phoned and left a message on Richard Lee's answering machine, saying, Look for your daughter in France. The police took the answer machine tape away, but there was nothing more to the investigation. Major Kevin Bell Walker, who was leading the inquiry, said, with the advances in crime detection, like search techniques, forensic archaeology, and DNA profiling, it does suggest the case can be progressed after all this time. One line of inquiry followed by the police is that Catrice was intentionally abducted from the shopping complex and has possibly been raised by another family in Germany, the United Kingdom, or elsewhere in Europe, unaware of her true identity. Lee was born with a distinctive condition in her left eye, which would have required two medical operations to correct. So they were appealing for medical personnel with knowledge of such operations to come forward if they had operated on a child. In April 2018, it was announced that British military police, in conjunction with the German police, would spend five weeks undertaking a forensic search on the banks of the Elm River. The search did not uncover any new information. In September 2019, a man living in Swindon, Wiltshire, England, was arrested in connection with her disappearance, though subsequently released without charge. Catrice had curly, light brown hair, brown eyes, 
a pink birthmark slightly to the right of the base of her spine, which looked like a rash, and strabismus in her left eye. At the time of her disappearance, she was wearing red Wellington boots, a turquoise duffel coat, a green and blue dress with frills around the shoulders, a white blouse underneath, and white tights. Despite spending her life in Germany, Catrice could only speak English. To this day, the full circumstances surrounding her disappearance, and whether she is even still alive, remains a complete mystery. <laughs>